did some filming for UGC and some work, got ready, and I am ready to just go sit in a coffee shop, get some work done, do some journaling, maybe some reading. I have not done this in literally months. This is something that I used to do every single week, and because I work from home and I'm home all the time, I don't really get out much, and I love the vibe, the aesthetic, all things coffee shops, the ambiance, how cozy it is working outside of my apartment, and it's the perfect fall thing to do. So we're gonna get there in a few minutes. I'm gonna get a nice cozy fall drink I'll share with you guys because it is my favorite one for fall. And we'll see what we get up to. We actually have a hurricane coming in two days. Today is Monday. It's supposed to hit almost directly here at Tampa on a Wednesday afternoon. So I don't really know what the next two days are gonna look like but I do know that today is really my last day to get out for the week I know I don't really know what we're gonna be doing tomorrow I know we're gonna be stuck inside Wednesday probably Thursday I hope it's not serious so anybody that's out there that is in the Tampa St. Pete right below area anywhere in Florida truly that gets hit by these hurricanes I feel for you I wish you the best I hope if you're watching this after everything is okay um, but I knew that today was my last day to kind of do what I needed to do and make sure that I got my jitters out for the week because I'm going to be cooped up. So I might take this vlog through tomorrow because I'll probably be inside preparing and all of the things, but we will see. I just know that going to coffee shops is literally the coziest thing you can do. So I wanted to bring you guys along and see what we get up to. I know tonight I want to make a nice fall dinner. so. We'll do that together and see what else we get up to. I know for a fact I want to edit some UGC videos. I want to definitely edit a vlog that should be going up in the next couple days, as well as, like I said, I want to journal and read. That's something that I've actually never done in a coffee shop is journal and or read. Anytime I go to a coffee shop, I simply just sit on my laptop, work, and leave. And I want to kind of embrace the fall, the coziness, and I've gotten back into journaling with handwriting, like handwriting in a journal and it's been really good for me. I usually don't like handwriting because my brain works too quickly and I can't get everything down, but I'm trying to do more things that I'm not good at that help to slow me down and sitting and writing really does help to regulate my nervous system. So that's been really good for me lately and I figured doing it in one of my favorite places would be even better. So let's go ahead and head into the coffee shop.
It is currently 3.15, so I was there for four total hours. I edited a YouTube vlog for literally like three out of those four. So that was fun, very therapeutic, very relaxing. But now we need to head to Target and I need to pick up a few things for our white chicken chili that we're gonna be making tonight. Like I mentioned before, there is a hurricane coming in two days and it is a little bit of chaos out here on these roads. Obviously, everybody kind of is evacuating and freaking out and getting last minute supplies. So, I don't know, number one, if I'm going to be able to get a ton at Target, get what I need. I mean, hopefully, it's just ingredients I can. But two, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to vlog in there. If it's super busy and kind of compact with a lot of people, I'm not even going to bother. But that's what we're doing now and then we're gonna head home i'll make some dinner i don't think we're gonna be evacuating so if that is the case i'm going to be taking this vlog through tonight and tomorrow and i'll kind of take you guys along my hurricane prep honestly i'm not going to be doing too much we are very fortunate to be in an apartment building and we are on the third floor so we don't have to worry too much about too many things. Thank God we're not in a house and anything like that. The only things we really have to worry about are obviously losing electricity, our cars, which we really can't do much about at this point. So um, I'm just gonna be prepping within the apartment. So we've stocked up on something. Yeah, see, everybody is driving a little chaotic. Like people are doing the stupidest things as if they don't know how to drive. Honestly, people just go crazy when it comes to hurricanes and on it, I don't really blame them, but as far as hurricane prep, honestly, I'm just gonna be doing some cleaning around the apartment, laundry, making sure we have our supplies, um, filling up some waters, and just making sure that we have enough things in case we lose electricity, uh, making sure we have all of the things. So, don't know exactly where this vlog is gonna take us because this is kind of a weird week. If I'm being completely honest, this hurricane is the first hurricane that we're actually kind of a little bit nervous about and honestly have to take super seriously. Not that we don't take the other one seriously, but this is the first hurricane I've had since I've lived in Florida. And I've lived in Florida for six years now. And we've never had one that is coming directly at us, specifically here in Tampa. We moved to Tampa from Orlando three years ago. And Tampa has been known to be very lucky when it comes to hurricanes. It's always projected to come our way and then it changes last minute and never hits us. And now it's kind of coming straight for us. So everybody around here is kind of low key freaking out. And I've never experienced a hurricane head on. Like I said, we had one last week and it didn't affect us directly, thank God. It did affect Tampa and the surrounding areas, but not us. So when all of the Florida natives that have been living here for 20, 30, 40 plus years start freaking out, that's when you know, okay, this might be something we really need to prepare for. So we're not taking this lightly, but you can only do what you can do, right? So let's go get some things in Target and see where the next day takes us. change of plans i'm home now we are not going to be making the chili although we wanted it so bad and i literally just went and got things for it but if we lose power on wednesday that chili is going to be sitting in the fridge and it's going to go bad and it's going to be stinky so we're kind of just trying to eat up what we have and tonight we're actually going to get mo's which i'm so excited for I've been really good lately. I haven't really been eating out. Um, I've been cooking a lot, so that's gonna be good. And sometimes you need comfort food ahead of a hurricane like this because you get a little weird, get a little nervous. Things are just all up in the air. So yeah, most tonight I have the best order, so I will show it to you probably. And yeah, I'll continue to show you guys what I do for prep for the hurricane, lots of cleaning, lots of laundry. I am super lucky I came home to a full stock of hurricane prep from my boyfriend. He got it on his way home. So thankful for him, he's the best. So let's unwind, take the makeup off, get in some comfies and get cozy for the night.
morning. It is now Tuesday morning and this hurricane has gotten everybody in the Tampa area super shook. We were not going to be evacuating and I'm still not exactly sure if we're going to be. I am like in awe at how this storm is developing. Like they're saying it's the worst that has ever hit this area in history. It's also supposed to hit a little bit later than it normally was. Supposedly it was going to be Wednesday afternoon, now it's going to be Thursday morning. So we're just trying to figure things out. We are in an apartment and we're pretty high up so we don't have to worry about too much but it's supposed to be like a direct hit and that coupled with the fact that it's supposed to be like the worst hurricane this area has ever seen. I don't know. It's kind of a confusing spot to be in because at this point traffic out of Florida is absolutely insane and you're going to be in traffic for hours upon hours just to get out of Tampa. So I don't know what we're going to do, but I'm still going to prep as if we're going to be staying and I'll update you guys along the way. It is a Wednesday morning at 10 30 and change of plans. We are evacuating we're going to a hotel and getting the heck out of here because we're just trying to be smart about things So we just packed up everything. We're gonna head out and I'll see you there See <laughs> We are safe in Orlando. We made it to our hotel. The drive was the quickest drive we have ever had from Tampa to Orlando and we've just been hearing over the last few days how bad the traffic has been and we really lucked out. I think we waited long enough. The storm isn't supposed to hit until tonight between like 9 p.m. and midnight so I think everybody kind of got out and although we left a little bit later it was really good timing. So we're here. I'll give you a quick little room tour. It's nothing fancy. It's super small but we're safe and we're away from Tampa and that's all that matters. So this is the entry, a nice little full length mirror. And then we've got two doubles. Say hi, Durango. He's very, very confused. <laughs> got the sink with a really good mirror with lighting. The bathroom is small, toilet, nice stand up shower. And yeah, that's really everything. We've got microwave, fridge, coffee maker. We've got some drawers. Can hang stuff up tv workspace more cabinet space and this is our view of some power lines and wendy's <laughs> but yeah that is what we've got you can actually kind of see downtown from here which is cool but all in all we are safe and that's all that matters it has been a crazy couple of days if i do say so myself when i started this vlog i literally just thought it was going to be a cozy fall vlog coffee shop making dinners all of the things and here we are in Orlando in a hotel for hurricane prep. But to be honest, what's his fall time like hurricane season in Florida? So I guess it makes sense. But I'm gonna end the vlog here. I will be sure to keep you guys updated in the next vlog, how everything went, how our home is, how Tampa in general is. And again, if you're experiencing this, I hope you are safe and I hope you are okay. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.